Hey everyone, this is Melanie Tries Recipes. Thanks for tuning in and watching me make this um, ham roll-up dip. I'm still trying to go through and eat up the, the last of our Easter ham. So what we're going to do is, this is my own creation, what we're going to do is we are going to dice up a nice big chunk of ham, put it in a bowl, and then we are going to get some green onions and clean those up. Um, these green onions were horrible looking. I think I threw away more than what I saved. And I hate when that happens. I grow like to grow my own green onions because then I know that I'm going to be able to eat like 99% of it. Anyways. <sighs> hey, if you're liking uh, fast-paced recipes like I do, please um, subscribe to my channel. This is kind of what I do. Just really fast-paced recipes only. Anyway, so here we are. We are. We have the green onions all the way cleaned up. And we are going to thinly slice them. We are going to put all of the white and all of the green part in with the ham. I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoy ham and onion roll-ups where you put a slice of ham and some cream cheese and roll it onto some green onion. This is me. <laughs> this is me teasing my sister. She she came up to see me. <laughs> She's like, "Oh, you should try this. You should try that." Yeah. Those little tricks. I I can't figure out how to do the little tricks where you snap your fingers and all of a sudden just like everything's already cut. Like I don't understand how to do that yet. Maybe eventually I'll be able to do that, but right now we just uh we just kind of do a fast pace, quick speed up, go through you can see everything I'm doing while I'm doing it. So, um, typically you don't put yellow peppers in with, uh, on a ham roll up, but I had some that needed to be used. And so I decided I was going to throw some of it into my dip. And so that's what I did. saving that aside for the next recipe. I guess I could have cut all that part out. That was kind of long. Anyway, so now we're going to take some uh, softened or semi-softened cream cheese. We're just going to drop the whole block in there. And then we are going to mix this together. Um, the cream cheese wasn't as soft as I wanted it to be. I did have to set it aside um, and come back to it because it was just not, not soft enough. I, I had to let it soften a little bit more. So anyways, as you can see, we're just going to keep on stirring that up until it's all all nice and mixed and smooth and it, it's going to be a little too thick to use as a as a dip so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some sour cream into it until it's um the consistency that i want it and see it's still a little too thick i had to add another large spoonful of sour cream in there. And just making sure it's all blended well and and uh, smooth and all incorporated really well. So then we tasted it and, and I thought I got this part on camera. We tasted it in um, it wasn't uh, flavorful enough, so 
I did add some Himalayan pink salt and then I also added some garlic powder and I allowed my family members who were in the room with me to taste it. My mom and my sister and myself, we all tasted it and decided that is is perfect the way it was. And yeah, totally thumbs up on the dip. So what we're going to use when when we're eating the dip is is um, some fresh freshly cut peppers and onions. But first I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and throw this all in a bowl and set it aside. Make sure it looks really nice in in the bowl. Now we're just going to we're going to cut up some green peppers, red peppers and a red onion. Um and I'm cutting these a little different than I normally would cut my peppers because I want the I want the boat shape. I want like the U shape. Um, when it's laying on the plate and I mean it just looks prettier than like straight sticks or or whatever so here I am just uh, just cleaning cleaning it up trying to get waste as little of the pepper as possible just cleaning out the onion part and um, the white part off there as you can see over here I, I don't have very much trash left from cleaning two whole green peppers and I have all my little boat shapes that I want. Put those on a plate. Let's do, we're going to um, slice up some red onion. And I want these to have that, you, you know, that U shape as well. So that's why I sliced them that way. And here we are. I'm only going to do half of this red pepper because I don't have as much red pepper as I do green pepper. So, and there we go. Keeping that boat shape. And I'll show you what that looks like. And take apart all these red pepper, uh, I mean, uh, red onions. So when you pick it up, it's just one, one slice. All right, here we are. Let's try it out. Let's try it with a with the red onion first. Scrape some on there. Hmm. I'm thinking, yeah, it's good. It's really good. Now let's try this red pepper. How do you like how I made like a red pepper with some dip sandwich. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh my goodness. And here we go. Let's try that out. And thumbs up. It's delicious. It's a hit. We're going to be making this all the time, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.